We now come to the second out of six heats for DD2 and DD2 Masters who have been amalgamated for this round of the championship. It's race five of the meeting. Let's have a look at the grid. Philip Moitzi from Austria will start on pole position alongside will be Jakob Bezel. Zana Schriblak, the reigning and defending champion, will have Mika Metz from Germany alongside. Patrick Slokmelis from Latvia and Sweden's Hannes Morin, who is one of several drivers, doing double duty this weekend. Zendrua, also one of those drivers, will have Austria's Manuel Tenshed alongside. Matthias Lund and Leon Arndt ran out the top ten. Michael Becker starts 11th, head of Robert Chopin. Bruno Dos Santos, Johan Andersson, another driver doing Project E20 double duty with Thomas Schumacher and Nico Jörg completing the 16 strong. So it will be down to Philip Moitzi and Jakob Bezel to control the pace as we are on the formation lap. The sunshine still beating down here in Wackersdorf. And the air temperature now 21 degrees, so it's climbed 4 degrees since we started racing at 20 past 10 this morning. We still have a lot more racing to go. So after this, we'll have another 13 races in total. So the drivers now make their way into formation. Nice and clean and tidy. They split into the tram lines. Revs rise. Are we ready? Let's go racing. And it's a good start there from Philip Moitsu. As Jakob Bezel tries to close in rather quickly, Zana Schriblak in third place looking to get an opportunity, but it is Bezel that hits the front. Schriblak trying to get through on Moitzi for second position, but not quite yet. Side by side, a little bit further down the order. Looks like Robert Schopien getting the elbows out as well in the process. The German running in the 477. Looks to be a little bit further up the order from where he started. So he's done that. That's a pretty good job. He started P12. As the 464 of Mika Metz battling away. And some drivers having to circumnavigate round others. I think uh, Mika Metz was getting past Hannes Morin in the process. But in the minute, Jakob Bezel leads the way. Philip Moitzi in second, and they gapped Zana Shrivlak ever so slightly, slightly to the tune. As there was a bit of a uh, lunge there, and that would have been from. Lock, well, I'm not too sure that could be. Maybe Matthias Lund on Patrick Lockmelis. And that is for fifth on the road. That was going through into turn six. But might see closing in on Jakob Bezel for the lead of the race. Zana Schirmlach trying to pick up the pace in his own right. So 2018-2019, Schirmlach won the BNL Karting Series uh, title in this, in this particular category. And then capped that off last year with the Euro Trophy crown. So top three, make that the top four. Ran it out by Zenderua. And they are covered by just under a second. Tenshirt sets the fastest lap of the race down in ninth place. A 49.699 from the Austrian. Nico Jörg has made his way up from 16th to 13th, past the likes of uh, Bruno Dos Santos, Thomas Schumacher and Michael Becker. And Michael Becker, based on cla uh, timed qualifying, was the fastest driver out of all uh, yesterday evening. As Johan Andersson gets past Leon Arndt, who's hung out to dry, and then all of a sudden the floodgates open. And what's more, Michael Becker is in the middle of a bit of a DD2 sandwich. He's the DD2 Masters, meets in the middle. And in behind him, he's got Leon Arndt. Ahead of him, he's got Nico Jörg. Uh, all because of Johan Andersson decided to send it up the inside of Leon Arndt from Don Motorsport and got through. So 
So just about three minutes of this race out of uh, ten minutes completed. And Jakob Bezel leading the way from Philip Moitzi. Zana Schreblak in third. Zen Durua, Matthias Lund, Patrick Slokmelis from Latvia completes what is currently the top six at the moment. Seventh is Robert Schorpian, I believe, who has, uh, well, who's made his way from 12th on the grid to 7th. So the Mac 1 driver from Karchmi has made his way up the order and has shown some good flashes of brilliance. But then, up the inside of him, tries to go Manuel Tenchuk. Now, has Tenchuk got through? No, he didn't. That was going through turn through. Tenchuk tried to send it up the inside. And Chopin went, you're going to have to do better than that. And they've got Hannes Morin for company. So Mika Metz has got past uh, Chopin in the process. Mika Metz currently leading the Rotax Max Challenge Germany se uh, se uh, series. But now we'll head to Wittgenborn for its final round of the championship in the first weekend of October. Uh, Schopian has been passed by Manuel Tenshut now. So Tenshut now up into eighth position. And we've just had our first driver that's been pinged for leaving the corridor with two wheels. Getting a three second time penalty. That is Germany's Leon Arndt down in 14th. And that is going to drop him to stone dead last. As the fastest lap now has gone into the hands of Nico Jörg from Austria, running in the 428. And he's about half a second behind Hannes Morin. But Zendrua has closed in on Zana Schriblak, and that's the battle for P3 on the road. Jakob Bezel has uh, gotten away like a scalded cat off a hot tin roof, away from Philip Moitzi, but Schriblak now feeling the pressure. As Zendrua up the inside, neatly done by the 407. And that was through turn six. Matthias Lund now finds himself in what is now fifth position. And then, just be warned, the floodgates might be inadvertently open if Matthias Lund decides to go for a lunge on Zana Schriblak. Four minutes and 15 still to go, plus an additional lap. And Jakob Bezel's lead has now extended significantly and he's put in the fastest lap of the race. 49.381 seconds and his lead now over Philip Moitzi from Austria extends to 1.3 seconds. Zendrua now will start charging and what's more, Zendrua is within half a second. He's within striking distance and he was two tenths quicker than Philip Moitzi on that last lap. We're now on lap number eight as the uh, majority of the sharper end of the grid makes its way through the chicane and into turn number 11. And leading that charge because Matthias Lund has been passed by Mika Metz. And that will be for fifth place on the road. So Mika Metz ran very well at this circuit earlier on in the season in a variety of different championships. And now on home soil at the final round of the championship. Mika Metz currently standing ninth in the standings on 31 points. And now Philip Moitzi is getting the hurry up. Zendrua right on the back bumper as was well over three tenths quicker on the last tour. A 49.435 from Zendrua, a 49.741 from Philip Moitzi. That is an incredible amount of pace. And that gap now is less than a tenth and a half of a second. Well, let's make that even a cart length and a half between Zendrua in third. And Robert Chopin has just been given a five second time penalty for pushing by race control. And that will drop him pretty much to the back end of the order. Come the checkered flag. And that is on the digi flag there. As Mika Metz now closing in for a move on Zana Schriblak through turn three. But as, oh my goodness, did he just go around the outside of Zana Schriblak going through turn four? Zendrua now gets second through turn six on Philip Moitzi. The floodgates are starting to open a bit here. 
And now Patrick Slokmelis has got Zana Shrivak right in his crosshairs and is waiting for that opportunity to get past. We've still got two minutes to go. So four-fifths of the race have been completed. Two to go. Uh, well, one-fifth to go, plus an additional lap. And Jakob Bezel, who started on the front row alongside Philip Moitzi, got the jump on the KRT Racing dr Team driver and has now got a 2.1 second lead as we head on to lap number 11. And there's the move up the inside by Lok Mellis on Shriblak. And that is for fifth on the road. But Jakob Bezel on lap number nine of this race, put in the fastest lap of anybody, a 49.379 second lap time. Mika Metz running in the 49, uh, mid 49 fours. That's the personal best. Lok Mellis also running in the low 49 sixes and has also set a personal best. Leon Arndt has also set a personal best. Bruno Dos Santos in the meantime has got past Thomas Schumacher for what is 15th on the road but it's third in DD2 Masters because there's only three out of the seven competitors from four different nationalities in this race. 40 seconds to go. And Zendrua has now put the hammer down. The Slovenian has taken nearly three tenths out of Jakob Bezel. That's a hell of a lot of pace for Zendrua and he's going to have to jump out of this cart and quickly run over to the pre-grid again because he's going to be out for the first of three e, uh, Project E20 races so literally with a couple of seconds to spare we now go on to the penultimate lap lap number 13 out of 14 and oh, it's a bit of a moment there. And that was for Mika Metz. I, but, well, hang on a second. I'm just trying to keep my eyes on what's going on there. Because is that Mika Metz that's starting to struggle a little bit? Because Shriblak has been... Uh, well, Mika Metz has got back past... Well, that was Moitzi, Lok Mellis, and Mika Metz. They're all battling over P3. And Moitzi goes on the defensive on Lok Mellis, going through the penultimate hairpin on the circuit. We'll have one more lap to go after this one, and it's all to play for from third downwards. First and second are pretty much secured. But Philip Moitzi quickly looking over his right shoulder. As all, oh, there was nearly a moment there for Manuel Attention, I believe. As he's on the back bumper, it's on a triple Final lap board is out, and the scrap begins. <laughs> it's the Philip Moitzi train, and then all of a sudden the floodgates open. Moitzi's dropped at least four to five positions on that exchange, and it isn't done with yet. Oh, tension up the inside of Shriblak. Moitzi trying to get through, and they're going three abreast coming out of turn six. That's ridiculous. Oh my goodness, through turn eight, they're even still three abreast, and then they're not done yet. Check it is being prepared, and Jakob Bezel is going to get the job done. Matthias Lund is all in that. You've got the 477 of Robert Chopian amongst those drivers. But Jakob Bezel comes out of the final corner. He's going to take the checkered flag. Zenderua will finish th in second. Third, it's Mika Metz. Fourth, it is going to be Patrick Sogmelis. Manuel Tensha. And it was a run to the line for some of the other drivers. Philip Moitz, he was leading the race at one point. He finishes in 11th. Well... I need to catch my breath for a second after that one. Jakob Bezel wins this race by 1.2 seconds. Zendrua takes the fastest lap on the penultimate lap of the race, but finishes P2. Mika Metz in third. Lok Melis in fourth. Tensha, Shriblak, Morin, Jörg, Chopin, who will be dropped by five seconds uh, through his time penalty. Uh, and that will be, and that has just been adjusted. He will drop to 15th position. Leon Arndt will drop three seconds as a result of leaving the corridor with two wheels. Michael Becker secures DD2 Masters uh, victory in this one. Philip Moitzi finishes P10. Johan Andersson 12th. Leon Arndt in 13th. Bruno Dos Santos, Robert Chopin and Thomas Schumacher. Wow.